Hello everyone, welcome back. KJ4YZI, Eric here with Ham Radio Concepts. And about close to eight years ago, my very first video on this YouTube channel was about a Baofeng UV5R radio. They had just come out. They were, uh, you know, quite popular in the ham community because you can get a dual band 5 watt radio for practically, you know, a less than $30 at the time. And since then, I've still had many, many views and people are still making videos on these and people are still buying these radios. It's a great affordable way for a new person to get into the hobby, listen for a while, and almost always they upgrade, but you got to start somewhere. So eight years later, this little thing is created. And I think this is very useful for people that have the Baofeng. This is from TID Radio, the Bluetooth programmer for Baofeng and similar radios, model BL-1. Now this little device right here has its own battery in here and simply plug it into your radio. Take your phone, download the app, and you program the radio right from an app on your phone. No computer needed. The, the biggest challenge that everybody has when they're talking about these, I always had comments. Eric, I can't get the drivers loaded for my computer software. Eric, I don't want to bring a computer with me. What if I'm out in the field and I want to add frequencies? This thing fits in your pocket. If you're one of those people that want to have less is more, they want to have a lot of light stuff in their go kit, stuff they can take with them, Everybody's got a cell phone in your pocket now, and if you don't, you can bring a tablet in your bag just for programming and doing stuff like that. But for under $20, you're talking $13, $15, $17, wherever you get this on Amazon, I'll put a couple links in the description because a lot of them sell out every time I click a link. This has been around for a few months now, but for less than $20, plug it into your radio, program it, away you go. And when they asked to send me this, I said, sure, but I don't have a bell thing anymore. So to make it authentic, I said, send me one of your radios because... I want to give this to Austin with this, my son, he's seen in a previous Thanksgiving Day video that he's getting his ham radio license. He is using ham radio prep. He's studying for his technician now. Uh, maybe he'll go to general in the future, but he really, really wants to get uh, a, a ham radio and get a hobby. So I figured this 10 watt TDH6 from TID Radio is a pretty nice little thing. And I'm going to give him both of this. But for right now, let me show you about this little Bluetooth programmer and about the radio they sent and how easy it is to use right here on Ham Radio Concepts. Ham Radio Concepts is brought to you by HamRadioPrep.com. It's never been easier to learn about Ham Radio before you take the exam. And Ham Radio Prep makes it fun and guarantees your success. Visit HamRadioPrep.com. Use the code ERIC20 to instantly save 20% off every course you buy. Remember the name, HamRadioPrep.com. So for less than $20, what do you expect to get with this? Well, this little unit here uses a K-style adapter for a lot of the Baofeng variants and such. This will not work with every single one, but I'm gonna show you in the app which ones are listed. Uh, it does work with uh, a lot of the Baofeng, the, a lot of their TDI or a T, TID radios, uh, even some Luton and some Rotivus, I guess. But we're gonna check that out. And all you get is this, it does have a battery in it and you charge it with the little USB cable that comes with it, okay? Um, and a user manual, the user manual, is got enough information to get you started and it's pretty simple color pictures in here all right very simple charge the thing when you get it download the od master on your phone or tablet okay register for an account which is a simple email and i guess your birth date i don't know why they need your birth date but um give them a, another email to use you don't have to use your main one if you're afraid of that plug it into your unit connect the bluetooth to this device on the app Select the model, read from the radio, then you can enter your channels, your frequencies, your tones, and hit right to program. It's very simple, I'm gonna show you that. So uh, they, they give you enough literature for what you're looking at. Now, this radio, let me show you this real quick. The TDH6 is a 10 watt dual band radio, and I only asked them again to send me just any radio that they have so that I could demonstrate this, And um, but you know, I'm gonna give this to Austin. So look what Austin gets to have as a new hand. I'm gonna give it to him with this. You know, the TID 10 watt radio sounds just like Welcome. Frequency mode. You remember that when you had the UV5R, it sounded just like that. Okay, it looks the same. A little bit of a layout, button different layout style. Uh, it's got the belt clip, the drop in charger. Then they also included the USB programming cable if you want to do it with a computer, if you're just buying a radio. And uh, the manuals for that. An extra battery, an antenna, and the. Um, earpiece here for if you want to you know slip in here and nobody hear you so Austin's gonna have a great uh, my son's gonna have a great piece of radio here to play with uh, in the meantime I'm gonna take the radio and just show you this okay and um, it's got a nice feel on it and, and the battery on this thing by the way is 2200 milliamp and uh, it is 
10 watts at 136 to 174 and 400 to 480. Okay, so here's what you're gonna do. So the first thing is we'll take the app, which I already have downloaded, okay? And it looks like this. OD Master, right? Free to download. I just put in a unused email I have and whatever birthday, okay? So first thing you wanna do is take this programmer, turn it on, pop it into the speaker mic port on the side of the radio like this, okay? Turn the radio on. Now, when you go into the app here, <clears throat> you're gonna select your radio. So go to program and select the model. Now this model is a TID uh, TDH6. But you can see it's got all their models in here as well for TID radio, okay? And it also has um, the, the variants of Balfang that will work. Let's see, let's go back. Select brand. Radiodity, Rotivus, and Soco, Rugged, Intech, Techside, WLN, Zastone, Luton, uh, you know, the LT316 is beta on here. But it does have quite a bit of compatibility. So we're going to choose the um, TID radio, the TDH6 here. Okay. Now, next thing you do, you hit read after you've connected Bluetooth. So if you click on the Bluetooth here, you might have to turn this on. And that's it. The Bluetooth is on. It just connected. And you hit read. And here it goes. See, it's reading. You see on the radio, it says program. It's receiving everything from the radio, which should be just stock factory, you know, whatever's in there. Okay. Now, it says you have a little introduction that shows you what, uh, you know, how to do things. I skipped that. So, now the programming file. Your channels. From what I understand, channel zero doesn't program or it's not like a home channel I'm not sure why so I'd skip channel zero but you can go all the way down look at all the frequencies what 999 uh, 127 there it is so we'll go to frequency channel number one okay and uh, receive frequency for instance you know what's in there 452 let's, let's put this in we'll put uh, 146.640 as the receive I'll do the transmit as, uh, well, you put uh, offset, so dot zero four zero, okay. The encode for tone, it's got all your PL tones in here, 107.2. And uh, high power, wide or narrow, we're going to narrow. And hit right. That's it. You see this is programming, it's flashing writing on the app. Now when, I, when it comes on, channel one in channel mode should be the local two meter repeater, 146.640. That's the W4PHJ machine that's been tried and true from 50 miles each way. Great, uh, great repeater. That's it. And look, you see it in there, 146.640. I'll pop this antenna. Oh, it was that fast. Now I did that with just one frequency. If you sat there and you wanted to make uh, other, you know, uh, Different, you know, let's see. KJ4, YZI testing. KJ4, YZI, AI4HO. Oh, it's Mark. <laughs> well, hello, Mark. I just wanted to try this real quick inside after I programmed this uh, radio for my son. So thanks for getting back to me. Good to hear you. We'll talk soon. 7 3, KJ4, YZI. Hey, what, what are you on? Uh, just a little 10 watt uh, TID Balfang clone. I got you. Okay. Yeah, I'm on uh, any tone, something or other. 2 meter 440, 25 watts with a little magma on top. I wasn't sure if this was getting out at all or not. But uh, uh, yeah, I've been watching a couple of your videos and, and uh, whatnot. Uh, trying to get into uh, like FT8 and uh, D-Star, watched a couple videos on that, so uh, uh, like my 705 and the AH 705 loop, uh, it's a neat little package. Thinking about getting the, uh, yeah, the backpack, uh, whatever number it is, 
but, uh, yeah, anyway, back at you, KJ4YCI from AI4HL. So, you see it. Okay, it was that fast. Radio sounds good. 10 watts, I'm hitting it from inside my house, the repeater, which isn't far. But um, the idea of this right here is to be able to program this wherever you are, uh, as long as you have a phone and this device here. I'm sure the battery in that would last quite a long time. And um, my son Austin is going to learn when he gets his license, when I give this to him. So I told him, he was looking at it, I said, you're not getting it until you get your license. You gotta have some sort of firepower uh, to you know, uh, get him motivated more. So he'll learn how to put this in, program it, what frequencies are around, and um, I'm sure he'll have fun with it. He'll get on the air at a fraction of the price of something like the D74 that I just bought. So there you have it. The Bluetooth TID radio programmer, model BL1. Links are in the description on Amazon. And uh, check out uh, other radios like this. And uh, let me know what you think of this if you have it. And honestly, let me, let me know in the comments. Tell me if you think this isn't valuable or you think this is just a waste of time. Why? I want to know why this wouldn't interest you because it interested me a lot when they said, you want to try it? Um, it was always an issue when people tried to use this, when I made the original videos and they said, where's the, you know, I always had to use the Vista driver. Um, I always had to use the 3.2.2.0 on a Windows Vista driver on any version of Windows to get it working. Some people said that didn't work, they couldn't figure it out. Oh my God, this is chirped, I can't use it. That was very easy to use. Thanks for sending it to Yeti Radio. More videos are on the way. 7-3. This is KJ4 YZI.